You know, I went over to mom's the other day just to check up on her and stuff. And I walk in and she's sitting in the coffin. Middle of the living room floor. She's watching, have I got news for you? And she's laughing. She's sitting in it and laughing. And I thought, God, I can't cope with this. I can't deal with this. I was looking at her and I missed her. I don't know what I'm going to do. It hurts behind my eyes and I've got this, this stupid eczema and I just, I can't, I can't stop feeling all the time. I can't do anything. I keep crying or, or thinking I'm going to cry and then not being able to do anything in case I do. And I, Johnny thinks that I should go and talk to someone, which just makes me think, what the fuck are you there for then? I don't know. Usually, I talk to mom. Monsieur Durant, this is the Lil Lucille. A prize? Oh yeah, these hundred guys of proof. But says she's pathologically aloof. She's distant, she's a nut, she's nonchalant. She sure would never flirt with some Durant. I'd be amazed if she were ever wived. Locked in her room, reading since she arrived. See, she's a metromaniac. That's a curse. Crazy for subways? No, she's crazy for verse. An inflammation of the mental versa, where verse becomes your vice and vice versa. Poetry, especially poems with sheep. A shepherd with a harp, she thinks that's deep. She's up there scribbling poetry all night and day. And you would take Lucille the wife? Oy vey. It's not a natural match when you consider it. She's an anthology and you're illiterate. 